Go Nichima, I mean, and this is occurring. You're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 minute first impressions video is going to be on a PS4 game. That's right. This is Super Star Wars. Re released for the PS4. And. The game is pure evil. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun to see. Oh, wait, I shouldn't say C, but remind myself why I really hate this game. So, as always, 10 minutes to play the game, first time playing the game, all version thereof. I don't think I won't skip anything, and this is definitely going to be version thereof. Let's get that timer started. Timer has been started, and let's go ahead and uh, start the game in a long time time ago in a galaxy far far away Star Wars you'd never guess originally this game was released for the Super Nintendo making it one of the top games um, on the, the Super Nintendo seriously episode this a new hope that finally on the Super Nintendo we will be able to actually read what it is trying to say if you don't keep up with what is being said, you can't read it because of the squiggly lines. Squiggling away into the distance. Even if you have good eyesight, you can only read the bottom lines. After the Empire has sinisterly sinister agent Oh Princess Leia race home aboard her star sh I can't read anymore. Um, freedom to the galaxy. And that music will be stuck in my head now and forever. Right. Easy to couch and head music. Brilliant! They were definitely smart. Ah. <sighs> I've forgotten how good some of the uh, cinematics are in this game. They really went out of their way to make a good looking uh, game for the Super Nintendo. That, that's just really cool. Star Wars! Dune C, Luke, ready, and in this game we get to fight stupid things that make no sense. I hate this game. <laughs> so, just because it's a Star Wars game, the Scorpions have to shoot lasers. And we have to have flying things that were never appeared in the freaking movie. Any questions why I do like this game? At the same time, and the Empire wins because, well, all it takes to take down a Jedi that will become an awesome Jedi are flying birds. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's it. Oh yeah, I love it how the scorpion can just appear out of the out of the rock. Oh, there's even a larger scorpion that blows up into smaller scorpions, just because it can. Ugh. Oh, and then there's killer bunny uh, gremlin things.
Infinite respawning spot, not cool. Come on. Uh. They should just give us freaking trophies for just for playing the game, seriously. Well, I'll just take here then, since this is like the perfect spot to get my energy back up. Dang it! Nice. Unfortunately, though, it makes me stop. Whoa, what the heck is that? Nice. Okay, now at least it's a little bit beatable. Nice. Gotta hurry. Come on! Come on! Just die already! Jeez! I don't believe it. I actually beat it. Over here! Hey, hey, help! Please help! I am C-3PO, human cyborg relationships. Something terrible has happened. My counterpart R2D2 has been captured by ja Jawas. We must find him. To all that hard work. Man, those things got big. Oh, crap. That thing is even bigger than it's supposed to be. And I'm about to die.
Nice. Come on. Oops, not good. Come on. Oh, yeah. One little rock and I die. There goes the timer. Okay. This is seriously awesome. There are so many amazing games from yesteryears that deserve this type of re-release with trophies. I mean, Sega's been doing it for a while now. And it made it so much fun. Who cares if it was Sonic Fighters? One of the worst Sonic games ever made. We still got to replay some of the games that were fun, horrible, or downright, this is awesome. To see that Disney is allowing them to re-release some of their games is amazing. There's a lot of fantastic Disney games that deserve a re-release. I'm happy to see that because of Star Wars coming out soon, that Disney's taking the time to allow them to release some of their best games. It would be amazing to see them do this with some of the PlayStation 1 games, and if we're super lucky, uh, some of the PC games, which were just fantastic. I mean, I would love to see Shadows of the Empires be re-released with some trophy um, support again. I love that game. I ha still have it for my Nintendo 64. Um, so I'm really happy to see this being brought back. If this hopefully persuades them to go ahead and release Super Empire Strikes Back or Super Return of the Jedi as well. Oh, man, that would be so sick and so worth it. I'm excited. Yes, the game is hard. Yes, I hate this game because of how hard it is. But that's what I grew up with. It, you know, with the Super Nintendo and the NES are these brutally hard games. Um, I love it. I mean, I'm I'm really am excited uh, to finally have a copy of this game to where I get to enjoy it on a PS4. Or I can pick it up for my Vita. This is so sick. So I'm really excited. It's one of the games that I don't even have to recommend uh, for people to pick this game up. It is a game to pick up because of just how awesome this game really is. And because of the awesomeness it was, is why it's got re-released. I know you can get it on the Wii and Wii U. Okay, Wii U since you can't get it on the Wii anymore. On the Wii U. And it was a, one of those games when it was released, everybody went hog wild over. And to see it bring, be brought out to the Vita and the PS4 is outstanding. I love the border that they made for it. I think that's, that is a fantastic idea to do it because it works so well. And it just adds that little bit of uh, detail to make it that much more. I'm very excited to have this. And that was a lot of fun. And oh, this game is just so brutally hard. That I love it. So, hope you guys have enjoyed watching me fail miserably uh, on this one again. Because I know I have a Super Nintendo video of this one up. But it was fun to be able to show off the PS4 version and actually get past the first level this time. So, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. This is T Secura saying ciao and.